Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video. Just know that this video is being sponsored by Sneaker Court Fashion. And right now, they are having a giveaway of $100 for the 100th subscriber on their YouTube. That won't be the last giveaway. So make sure you head to their channel and subscribe now at Sneaker Court Fashion. And maybe you just might be the lucky person to win a free $100. So what are you waiting for? Go. Go right now, man. Well, after you watch the video. All right, I'm out. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today we're going to talk about Lil Dirk and his interview that he had with the Nelk Boys. Shout out to them. Um, I'm going to pin the full interview for you guys in the comment section so y'all can check it out yourselves and let me know how y'all feel about it after y'all watch this video. Now, there's certain points in here that I want to highlight and one of them being the fact that Lil Durk called NBA Youngboy a troll and the reason why I did this video because I actually do um, believe that NBA Youngboy is trolling um, and has trolled Lil Durk um, purposely for album sales and you know streams and I feel that that's his way of marketing himself that's his way of keeping his core audience you know cuz young boy got this whole persona this whole image and this whole facade that he's just this ruthless savage even though we don't know too much of what he ever did but he he got this aura built around him that he's just like some some savage I even though time at the time when we've seen him coming to certain occurrences online is never adds up however um let's talk about Lil Durk calling him a troll now during his podcast interview they asked him like when the last time you've been trolled and then after he answered they asked when was the last time you was trolled and responded Dirk's response was aha you know on um, the whole aha song and video and at first they didn't really catch on but i caught on and i understand what he said and then he went to go highlight that he responded to a troll through that song who else was he talking about other than nba young boy because as we know most of that song was directed to nba young boy after he put out his song everybody hates young boy so um let's talk about it man trolling um do I believe that NBA Youngboy trolls? Yes, I think he trolls Lil Durk and the whole King Wan situation because every time after he puts out something or before he puts out something talking about King Vaughn and, and Lil Durk and the whole O Block situation, it usually follows up with either an album or a video or a project or whatever the case may be. Purposely trolling them, you know, so the views could go up, so the streams could go up and um you know make money or whatever the case may be but on the flip side of things i personally feel that lil dirk actually does the same thing you know um we all know that right now beef within the music industry including death is like a big business um one of these rappers they either get locked up or they get shot or unfortunately pass away and guess what their streams go up and a lot of these labels know that and i think it's becoming more fluent and, and you know more of a thing than any other time in the music business it's crazy because i was watching i think az phase on yeah phase on love that's his name yeah phase on love um he did an interview with i think dj vlad yes vlad tv and he pointed out that in the 80s which was one of the roughest times ever which was you know the start of the crack epidemic and you know, you had this rapper, that rapper, people was dying left and right, getting robbed left and right. He made a very, very good point. He said within the music industry, um, hip hop specifically, during the 80s, it was only one rapper death, one rapper being killed. And that rapper was Scott LaRock. I'm not mistaken. That's exactly Yeah, He said Scott LaRock. Um, Y'all can research it on your own as well. So within the time, um, time frame of the 80s, only one rapper was killed one right whereas today's day and age <laughs> the 2000s you know the 2022 to 2021 especially 2020 um rappers especially are dying left and right and i mean left and right um why is a good question however i personally think that 
once these labels realize that once these rappers get killed or locked up and you know it's a big business streams go up sales go up and they eat and whether you know it or not this is why fake beef actually um exists within the music industry as well it's like it's a whole big thing man and um matter of fact go back to the time where Lil Durk was going back and forth with 6 9 he exposed 6 9s camp for getting in contact with his management and offering money you know just to fake beef with 6 9 you know um which also makes you wonder how much other people have 6 9 actually reached out to to fake beef for money and they actually say yes instead of exposing them because that was a time where 6 9 was getting at it with everybody. Everybody and their mother had a problem with 6 9 He was going around trolling, acting like he's going to this place, that place. Because he knows, like we know, um, unless 6 9 is pretty much in any type of controversy or beef or fake beef, rather. Or doing any type of weird trolling, nobody's talking about 6 9 nor is anybody really listening to his music. And that's what he does as well. After he does some type of trolling situation or stir up some type of fake beef, boom, he puts out a song or he puts out an album. And then, of course, the streams go up. He may have one song or two that they may start playing. And there you go. That's like the ultimate package these days, the ultimate pitch, the rollout for these albums and these songs with these artists. Now, getting back to the um, Lil Durk interview. I, I wish that they were at, like you ever been watching an interview and you wish you was there to ask certain questions. I know I do it all the time. And the real question they should have asked was this, right? What was it that NBA young boy did or said that made Dirk respond to him the way he did rather than respond to the ops that's been dissing him for 20,000 years? You get what I'm saying? Because he got ops that's been dissing him for years that said the same exact thing that young boy did or said or worse, you know? So what made it to where he felt he had to respond to NBA young boy the way he did back and forth? You know, was it the clout he knew that he would get from going back and forth for NBA young boy? Or, you know, like these are the type of questions they should have asked. It seemed like the guys up there, they was more in awe that they were in fact um even interviewing Lil Durk in the first place. You know, um, the guys up there they seem young and whatever the case may be. So they seem like they was actually, like I said, in awe and and, and like, you know, not starstruck in the sense, but you know what I mean, that Lil Durk was pretty much up there. So it's like they're not gonna ask like the hard hitting questions because they probably don't know how Lil Durk will react or whatever the case may be. But I personally feel that they could have somehow some way you know elaborated a little bit more with the nba young boy questions they asked like one or two questions and we just left it at that you know and i, I get it probably don't want to be disrespectful want to keep things clean relationships clear whatever the case may be but um there's ways you can ask hard-hitting questions without being disrespectful too so you know it is what it is but moving along they didn't ask them about king um king vaughn one of the hosts said that they were actually big king vaughn fans and when they asked him pretty much like how big do you think that King Vaughn would have been or could have been or whatever the case may be and how many songs that they have Lil Durk went on to explain that you know they have pretty much an unlimited amount of songs and he personally feel that uh, in the trenches in the streets that King Vaughn is bigger than Drake um, and one may argue with that because like 21 Savage said there's people in Atlanta that feel that future is big, um, bigger than Drake. You know, um, I personally feel that it depends on what you're looking for. It depends on when you listen to the music, what you listen to music for. And it also depends on the demographics, like where you're from or whatever the case, because you got and, and not to mention, it's like a street thing. I don't know where this division became the way if you like Drake, it's like you're a simp. Or if you like Drake, you like, you know, you're, you're soft or whatever the case may be. It's softened over the years because, you know, when he first came out, everybody, oh, if you like Drake, you soft, you this, you that. But then as time progressed and he actually became more successful, it kind of been, it's like cool now 
you know Drake is like in his own lane where you could like Drake and it's just that like I, I like Drake for this and you know but as far as King Vaughn being bigger than Drake I would say that in certain instances people would say that depending on where you come from because it's not a cool thing to be like yo I like Drake you see what I'm saying? It's not cool to say, yeah, I listen to Drake because nah, not no get not no tough, you know, street dude. He's not gonna say, Yeah, I like Drake. He may listen to Drake on his own time, you know, but it's not cool to listen to Drake if he got uh his boys in the car with him. But he could throw on King Vaughn if he got his boys in his car with him. He could throw on King Vaughn wherever. You see what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations. You just gotta <laughs> it, it, it's it depends on who you like and what you like them for. So we pretty much gonna leave it there, man. It's that simple. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. How y'all feel about Lil Dirk calling NBA Young Boy a troll? Do you think that NBA Young Boy trolls um Dirk? And um do you feel that King Vaughn is bigger than Drake in the streets? Alright, y'all let me know how you feel in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm gonna keep on dropping. I'm out.